Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Yoshi's Crafted World on Nintendo Switch. Today's episode is all about Ninja-rama. It's like a diorama, but ninjas. So what we're going to be doing on this episode is we are going to be 100%ing the entire Ninja-rama world, collecting all these smiley flowers, all of the hearts, and of course all the red coins within. It's going to be a great episode, thanks so much for watching. We're almost done with the game, truly we are. And I hope you guys have been playing along with, because this game is super cool. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Ninja-rama. Alright, you guys are gonna like this level. Uh, maybe two, three levels? Yeah. Alright, well let's take a look. Deceptive Doors. Alright, so Deceptive Doors. It looks like there's gonna be six flowers. Uh, there's gonna be three of the collectible flowers, of course, that we're gonna be getting. But of course, let's knock it out. Yoshi. All right, so here we are. This is the this is like the ninja area. You guys can see the awesome elements in the background. They just look really spot on. I think if anything, if Good Feel and Nintendo did anything right, it was totally crafting these backgrounds here. Like no joke. They did an amazing job. And these little ninja stars that everyone's uh Tossing out at you, it just looks so cool. Alright, Ninja Stars. Getting our hearts. Oh, dude, I landed right on his little Ninja Star there. Alright, so we're gonna continue to move this way. We're gonna continue moving forward. We're gonna need a lot of eggs in this episode. And I need a lot of uh, red coins. There's going to be one little question mark that we have to search out and find it. <laughs> okay, what about this one? No. All right, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna do a little bit of switcheroonie. Revolving doors are the gimmick. There we go, get my egg back. Whoa, that guy just flew right at me. Oh man, the flying little guys are very cute. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. We got it. We're good. Okay, so I don't really see anything else over here. I do want to make sure that this entire area is clear of invisible question marks. Because that's one of my biggest pet peeves in all of Yoshi. Yoshi's Crafted World. It's just finding these insane, insanely hidden question mark blocks. And you're going to find yourself replaying this level a hundred times if you don't find it. Okay, well, we're moving on. Turn that guy into a heart. Boom. Moving on this way. What's this? What? How are you supposed to know that that one's there? Are you kidding me? You just have to jump in the right spot? Wow. Guys. Guys. <sighs> Unbelievable. Guys. That was so ridiculous. All we have to do is just win now. Oh my goodness. Where you going, boy? Alright, so there's our hidden present in the background that we will absolutely need. Good work. That guy's running around in the back. I mean, he's just looking suspicious, but he doesn't do anything, so... He's not necessarily anything you have to worry about this guy though anyway so we can come over this way we can get some coins pretty nice and all there's a little puzzle that you have to do in this area and the first time that I played this level when I was speeding through the game just for the heck of it um, I had a hard time figuring out that little puzzle that you can actually hit the, the door to revolve it back around so it's quite interesting but now you guys have the answers to the test Yay! Okay. Uh, 
Okay, go Yoshi. Go Yoshi. Nothing. Oh man, I was gonna say nothing over here. Okay, beautifully done. Give me that. Attack! <laughs> Those little guys are funny. There we go. That's all the red coins, baby. We're in this. We're absolutely in this. Alright, so all I need left is the last smiley flower. Nothing over here. Okay, and I need to not get hit. That's the thing. Right? We're good on smiley flowers, right? Yeah, we're all set. Just don't get hit. Yeah, we're done. GG's. Oh, man. Woo! That is hard. That was a hard level, guys. Because of the crazy invisible question mark clouds, man. Oh, frustrating. But that's okay. We did it. We showed you where they're all at. Deceptive Doors is in the books. We are all set with that one. So let's move on. We've got a couple more. And we do. There is a little mini boss at the very end of this world. So we'll have to make sure to show it to you guys. Behind the Shoji. Ooh, behind the Shoji. Let's check this one out. This one's a very unique level. It's an auto scrolling level. And I think you'll like it. For sure. I think you'll like it. All right, welcome. Welcome to one of the harder levels in the game where you will need to be on top of your game with smushing everything and throwing eggs all over the place in order to find every single secret behind this shoji curtain. So there's, there's a lot happening here, so see if you can keep up. You don't wanna miss one singular coin, wherever it may be. So keep an eye, keep an eye on the prize. Oh man. And part of the magic of this level is memorizing what exactly the shapes are behind the curtain so you know what to do with them. Like, I memorized the shape of the box that you can ground pound through or throw an egg through, which is going to be right over here. You can see it's got, like, some cracks in it. So you know that is going to be the little boxes that you guys can use. Just threw, an, <laughs> threw a YOLO egg all the way up there in case. Just in case. Oh, man. Wow, yep, ate that for sure. Whoa, hey now, what in the world? Okay, so the one time, hey, thanks. The one time that I actually look behind a piranha plant is when it actually gives me something. Well, go figure. Just in case. The game wants to be cheeky. Now, here's a tip for you guys. If you just tap the X button in neutral stance with Yoshi and you throw an egg, it's going to cover the height of two coins high whenever you throw it. So, see what I did there? I, like, threw the egg forward. And then what that did was that made sure that I was able to collect all those without even having to worry about it. Okay, 11 for 20. Here we go. 11 for 20. All right, so I mean, I got, I got a couple things. That Those are hearts. Don't need those. I'm going to come down here. Make sure I land on only one of those to go quicker. This is a ground pound. Easy. And that is a present, which is going to be another one of our red coins that we need. This guy. No. Okay, good. I saved his life. I saved his life. He was about to land on those tinfoil spikes over that way. And we were not about to let that fly. All right, so here's a little tip for this thing. Uh, yeah, make sure you guys get these going quick. Because if you don't, you're gonna miss out on that. Okay, so that's all of the smiley flowers here. Okay, I need 
one of my shiny doggies. I want to see if there's anything else under here in this little area. No, there's not. Good. We're going to crawl underneath here. And I got to go. Okay, that was the red coin. That was the last of the red coins. Okay, so we're done. This is the this is the point in the game where you're like, all right, man, I'm good. As long as I don't get hit by anything that's coming near me, we're all set. So remember, throwing the red, uh, throwing the the eggs at the coins in order to make your life a lot easier would probably be your best bet. I'm just gonna float over here. Those are um, temporary platforms that if you land on them, they'll. Um, if you land on them, they'll unravel, and then you can go in the spikes. So watch out for this dude. Oh man, he blocked it. Man, give me this guy. What? Come here. <laughs> Making that big Bowser out of origami? Get out of here. I think we're done. GG's, dude. Excellent work. Done. Okay. Pretty cool level. What did you think of the overall design? Let me know in the comments. I think that it looked really cute. I think that the, like, the level design in this game is really, really good. I, I will admit that. I will admit that. I like it. It's just so crazy that, like, you can go to an arts and crafts store, and you can probably make 90% of all of this here. Just out of, like, boxes and cardboard and everything like that, so. All right, the Shogun's Castle. Here we go. This is called the Shogun's Castle in Ninja Rama. And we are going to, at the end of this one, there is going to be a mini boss. So I'm excited for this one. The mini boss is pretty interesting, let's just say. I won't spoil anything, but you're gonna you're gonna love it. Alright, so here we go. Uh, this level is is pretty interesting. There is there's a lot of elements that are pretty new, especially this elevator elemental. So, I'll show you guys exactly what you need to know for this level. Including how to find secret areas like this. Whoa. And in this specific level, I would say that eggs are kind of few and far between. So, don't go willy nilly tossing eggs all over the place, just to be on the safe side. And there's, uh, there's going to be a little mini boss at the very end, and I'll show you guys exactly how to beat him too. Beautifully done. So this whole, this whole, like, elevator mechanic is really going to be the gimmick of this world. Uh, I'll show you guys this real quick. Yeah, yeah. Bouncing up in order to get stuff. All right, these guys are kind of creepy because they will slice you down. There's no way that you can jump over them, so don't even try. Um, so allow them to slice and then like juke back and then come on over in order to um, get those guys. They're relatively hard to deal with. All right, three red coins. Easy peasy. Here we go. Alright, little shy guys coming on board. Here we go. So this is more along the lines of what the gimmick of the level is all about. Where you have to rotate each of these little elevators in order to make a pathway for certain elevators to go through. It's quite interesting. Alrighty, here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The music, that part, the do, 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 that reminds me of Hazy Lane in Yokai Watch. For some reason, I don't know, I'm getting like a, a Hazy Lane music vibe off of this. Uh, so this little area is a, a little rotation puzzle. Really nothing to worry about. Oh my gosh, really? Here we go. It's a little rotation puzzle. And if you go into it like this way, you'll be able to get your key in order to advance into the next area. Watch out for these little guys. And the present that they're hiding. I'm gonna run. Okay, good. 
Wow, I'm just launching eggs willy-nilly over here. Just what I said you shouldn't do. All right. So we're gonna wait until this rotates. Uh, I think I got all the reds. I'm gonna double check. That sounded like I got all the red coins. This is number three, yep. I wish the UI would show the red coins. I don't know why it doesn't. Or the HUD. Heads up display. All right, here we go. So I'm going to hit this. Now the gimmick with this is the locked door. That's on the one way door that's like that. That's the real gimmick that you're gonna have to learn in order to progress with these little puzzles. Is going through that locked door in order to pretty much move your way a little bit freely from each of the little blocks. So I do want eggs. Dang it, that's not an egg. I need eggs. Stop. This is coins. I need I need eggs. Dang it! Oh my gosh, I got no one. I got none. Okay, so we're gonna try something here. I need ooh. It's gonna be real tough to do. I'm gonna see if I can do it though. We're gonna try something. Oh no! Whenever these guys rotate around, oof! Big hit! Ow! Ow! I need to do this without using an egg. Okay, good. Yeah, you can use an egg to throw at that, but since I unfortunately uh, got hit, I need these little uh, heart men right over in this area. So that was a little rough. But if you do that one right, you can throw an egg in midair and like collect all those blue uh, blue coins, and you'll honestly be set to go. But we did it. We managed. We got everything that we need, just about. I think there's one more opportunity for hearts. Okay, so this is it. Just making sure we do have everything. Yep. Let's go in. We have all of our hearts. We have all of everything. Scree, you don't give up easy, do you? My treacherous traps will be your doom. He doesn't even get a name splash, this guy. How sad is that? Anyway, so it's up to you to do these little puzzles very quickly because if you don't, then he's going to make spikes happen all over the background that push towards you. So just be very mindful of where exactly you're meant to push each and every one of these little things. All right, I'm gonna go and we're just gonna knock him out. I don't care what his spikes plans are. Ooh, missed him. Boing! All right, so it's just a round of three puzzles. Those first puzzles were fine. These next ones are going to be even harder. I just need to not get spiked. Okay, so this is the non-spike room, which is good. So I need to do a little something, something. Push this down, I need to bounce up, go through the door. Remember the open door concept? I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna open up another door. Um, hello? Okay, whoo! Boy! That was pretty intense. He's locking these mechanisms so we can't really do anything. Alright, you're- oh man! Ah! Oh, just the two? Oh, that's fine. That's easy, man! He's going easy on me! This guy. Um, right? That was it? Okay, yeah, we're done here. Dunk. Okay, that was it. Good job, Yoshi. Was it. <laughs> now, sometimes you get some pretty bad RNG with the little spike walls in the back, and sometimes you get some easy ones. Like, sometimes he'll, like, choose two to come out at you, or he'll do the entire wave, and if you're just not in the right place, you'll probably get hit. So beating that guy with, um, with 100% health, is, it's a little challenging, I would say so. But that's the Shogun for you. The Shogun's Castle. Pretty fun.
Okay, here we go. The Shogun's Castle is done. Let's take a look over here. Uh, on our next episode, we are going to show you guys Rumble Jungle. Ooh, that sounds really exciting. I'll go to courses. And you guys can see that every single one of these... I have 260 and they're all nice and 100% starred all the way through. This is this is exactly what you want to see at this point. Anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying the, uh, the Let's Play series. I hope that you guys are all playing along with these videos. It's going to be super fun. So that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend that totally helps out, helps our channel grow. Continue on with that. Newest video on the channel right over that way. Playlist over here. Recommendations up on top. And subscribing right over here. Turning on notifications as well. And if you guys want to take a step further, you guys can click on that join button or click on member uh, bit.ly slash memberyt to become an official Abdallah Nation member. You'll have access to the Abdallah Nation emoji that you guys can use in chat and the exclusive community tab, exchanging friend codes with me, and a whole bunch more. Check that out. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.